Rebel football looking to the future after its starting quarterback, Matt Sluka, announced late last night that he is leaving the Rebels. Sluka held the Rebels to a 3-0 record so far, but announced that he is redshirting for the rest of the season. Sluka said on social media, quote, I committed to UNLV based on certain representations that were made to me, which were not upheld after I unrolled. Today, Fox 5 spoke with UNLV's athletic director on the Moore Show about how the Rebels are moving forward. You know, we obviously are aware of, of what he is, his decision has made, and we're doing our due diligence to make sure that we are, uh, everything's on the up and up, and then also at the same time, as you just mentioned, mm -hmm. we've got to, Coach Odom has to prepare the team for Saturday. UNLV responded to the, uh, Sluka's decision saying this, football player Matthew Sluka's representative made financial demands upon the university and its NIL collective in order to continue playing. UNLV Athletics interpreted these demands as a violation of the NCAA pay-for-play rules as well as Nevada state law. UNLV does not engage in such activity, nor does it respond to implied threats. UNLV has honored all previously agreed upon scholarships for Matthew Sluka. And the Rebels are back in practice today. They're looking to win four straight now this Saturday against Fresno State. Fox 5's Paloma Villacana shares more on the team's focus after losing starting quarterback Matt Sluka. The energy and positivity remains high here on campus after the Rebels lost their starting quarterback, Matt Sluka. Last night, Sluka posted on social media that he's utilizing his red shirt year and leaving the Rebels after a 3-0 historic start to the season. Listed behind Matt Sluka on this week's death chart versus Fresno State is Hodge Malik Williams. The sixth year senior transferred from Campbell and has been praised for his vocal leadership and his arm strength on on the football field. Off the field, Hodge Millick Williams hosted a free youth football camp with wide receiver Ricky White this offseason, giving back to North Las Vegas. The positivity remains high in this UNLV locker room. It is so player led in position groups that the coaches obviously are going to say stuff, but I see so much leadership in the locker room through uh, our captains on our team and so much more than just our captain captains you see young players as well stepping up saying stuff just having great attitudes I think in the locker room it's really easy to be somebody who's kind of negative I guess the term like rotten apple and kind of infected but we've really seen some great positivity everybody likes to infect each other with the positivity a lot of high energy from the Rebels in practice today. Barry Odom's guys looking to come out on top against Fresno State this Saturday, kicking off Mountain West play at 12.30 p.m. at Allegiant Stadium. At the Fertitta Football Complex, I'm Paloma Villacana, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And for more UNLV football news, you can tune in to the Reb Zone every Sunday at 10.30 p.m. with Barry Odom. The Rebels' historic season continues on Saturday against Fresno State.